Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, welcome. Today I'm going to be playing a full game, not edited like my previous few videos, um, of Seraphine in Ranked and show you guys a build that maybe you guys haven't heard about yet that's really strong and I think her best build for not only mid lane, which is where I'm going to be playing her, but also support in ADC too. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys prefer my unedited videos, and I definitely don't plan on stopping to make these, like, at all, even though, like, I kind of already have, but not intentionally. In other words, guys, I still plan to make these types of videos, because I know that not everyone prefers, like, more chaotic edited ones. So, yeah, but what else do I want to say? Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thank you guys for all the love you've been showing me on all of my recent videos. I am, like having so much fun with not only the thumbnails, but um, the editor that I'm working with, Hobby, for a lot of these videos now has been amazing. And all the love that you've been showing him in the comments, uh, we both read it and we both love it. And we're taking all your feedback to heart for future videos, which are definitely coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment because I literally read every single one of those. So I am laning against a Twisted Fate and they have a Kane as their jungler. Um, and I have a Viego as my jungler. This game we might run into some problems because we have a Hue ADC and a Zerat support and a Seraphine mid. So we have triple AP and AP right now is in a weird spot where magic resistance is just pretty, pretty busted. Uh, yeah, but let me talk more about this Seraphine build that all the Seraphine mains have been cooking. Um, so it revolves around maxing your E ability, which got pretty massively buffed with all the changes that they gave Seraphine over like the last few patches or whatever, whatever her rework was. Um, basically maxing her E ability now is worth it. It gives you, um, like pretty similar damage as well as a longer CC duration now. Oh, how do you TF? A longer CC duration, similar wave clear, uh, to Q max and it's just really great and obnoxious so instead of being like a like a shield support which seraphine has been in the more recent past she is now a a, a cc support so you build items like imperial mandate and rylize that benefit your your e and you you will see it it's definitely more of like a later game build uh, type of thing so early game is probably just going to be me mostly farming as I mean, Seraphine kind of always is. Seraphine is definitely not like an amazing early game champion with this build. But honestly, she's a little bit better because the W or the E poke is actually really good. So let's continue farming. And as for my runes, I'm going Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, the new Triple Tonic rune, as well as Cosmic Insight for lower cooldowns on my teleports. Uh, I remember in my last Seraphine video, there was someone that commented like, Eric, why are you going Comet on Seraphine? It's terrible. I don't think so. I think that Aerie's good on Seraphine, and you can definitely still go Aerie if that's what you're used to and what you prefer. But I feel like with the Emax build, since you're maxing your CC ability and, um, you know, it CCs, the enemies can't dodge the comets as much, and it adds up to be a lot of damage. A lot more than, uh, than Aerie does from my experience. So I would definitely recommend trying it, at least for mid lane. I have no idea where this TF is, but he probably recalled. Let me recall too. Let me get out of here. So like I mentioned, the first item you're going to be going is um, Imperial Mandate because it procs on your E ability and it's just such a cheap and gold efficient item. It's honestly very strong. Both Shirelia's and Imperial Mandate, I think, are pretty OP items right now. So we're going to be rushing that Mandate. And we're going to get a Shirelia's later on too. So we've just been farming for the most part here. Sadly, my jungler is kind of getting destroyed in the jungle. Oh, he's going to get Twisted Fate, gold carded. It's over for him. Mm. He needs some Merc Treads and he needs them now. Yeah, that's not good that my jungler is losing pretty badly. Pray for me. Yeah, my games have been pretty bad recently. I'm right now in Masters, uh, but my ranked games have just been feeling so bad. I don't know how else to put it. It's just bad. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing like the same type of games. Let me know in the comments. It's just maybe because I mostly play AP champions, and like I said earlier, magic resistance is just so OP. There's too many good magic resistance options, I swear. Uh, TF is bot lane. We're going to try to clear this wave. Hopefully my bot lane doesn't die. If they don't die, then it's fine because TF's going to miss a wave mid. Yeah, but the hardest part with this Seraphine build is definitely getting through the early game. 
they low bot lane? Kind of. Let me see if I could roam. Mm, I think it's worded. Something's worded here. Probably. They know that I was going there. Alright. Well, TF missed a wave. Sure, I'll take it. I'm gonna try to kill this. Oh, no. Bot lane, why? Why? Why must my whole team be feeding already? Except for Irelia. Me and Irelia are like our only hopes right now. Uh, this is not a good feeling. This has been happening way too much lately. I'm gonna see if I could actually get this guy. I don't know if it's, he's gonna let me, but his support isn't there. I have Flash in my ult. I think we maybe can get him. Uh, maybe not. He has his E ability. Nah, we can't get him there. I didn't want to ult because he's just easy. it. Mm, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. My team is getting donuts literally spun around them before I even get to play the game. This is the Seraphine experience. But, you know, maybe the late game. I pray. I pray with all of my being. Okay, let's get the Bandle Glass Mirror and a Pink Ward. Yeah, we, we honestly just need a lot of tenacity this game. I might even go for Merc Treads. Oh, well, that's what's been happening. Oh, Lord. Oh, loud. Okay, well, we might be getting Dragon at least for this, I guess. I'll enjoy my, like, three extra AP. Oh, I think that was actually two extra AP. Yeah, and TF's going for a Roa. Just farming. You really start noticing the power of this build once you start grouping and once you have two items. Like, once you get your Rylize, you become very annoying. And it's incredible. Oh, he needs my help. He's getting invaded. Perma invaded. Ooh. Okay, I got him though with my ult. Okay. It's a nice shutdown. Oh. Wait, maybe he dies though? I think he might have got his ult reset. Take a shield. Oh, take the soul. Die. Okay. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Don't call it a comeback. Not just yet. Alright, so I think the wave's actually pushing towards TF, so I'm gonna stay and shove it out so it hits his turret and he misses out on all these minions. Okay, I think I did it properly. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, that's really good. And I could almost afford the mandate. If only I CS just like two minions better this game, I shed a tear. But it is what it is. It's okay. Let's get this into your run boots and I guess a potion. For a little bit of extra help this game. Yeah, but if you see, even in that team fight, I was able to do a lot with the CC from my E. That's probably the best change that they did to it. Oh, my team has to be careful here. I'm gonna ping his ult. I don't know if he used it this game yet. I don't think he did. Um, yeah, they increased the CC duration of her E when you max it now, where it didn't used to do that before. And it's very strong. And you don't even need tier with this build because uh, Emax also just costs less mana. It's only 60 mana, where Q gets up to 100 mana. You do max Q second, though, because you are, you know, trying to be a little bit more damagey. But these are just extra reasons to explain the Emax. Okay, I'm a level up on TF2. Honestly, I'm kind of cooking so far this game. I'm just more scared when they start getting magic resistance. Really? Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Getting Diego fed is the best thing we can do this game, or Irelia, because then we have some sort of AD damage. Take that, TF. Enjoy that. Oh, he might be trying to ult bot lane. I'm gonna try to stop his ult by following him. Oop. I didn't know where he was, sadly. Yeah, it's a good uh, habit to get into when you play against TF that you should just follow TF and try to cancel his ult whenever he goes for it. 
I didn't know where he, exactly he was there, sadly, but if I did, I'd be able to get him with the, the double E. Oh, why hello there, Nico. Is she like over here or something? Is she being an alcove gamer? Okay, let's go ahead and recall. Oh, also, I wanted to mention this, but I forgot to take it down from my shelf. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a signed copy of Ariana Grande's Eternal Sunshine. And what's your favorite song on it? I really like Supernatural. I think that song is such a bop. Oh, hello there, Nico. TPing there to help my team. Oh, wait, maybe I can get him. I don't think I need to ult there. I was ready to. Wait, guys. We're having a comeback. <laughs> wait a second. I was getting sad at the beginning of this. Guys, you don't know how many times I've tried to record this, literally this video of this build, but every time it's just like something goes wrong. Uh, it's a disaster. League of Legends is a disaster. I think we know this by now. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. Here is Kanye. Kanye, would you like to give that to me? No, you would not like to. Fine. Then keep it. Okay, so second item is Rylize. I think I will go ahead and go for a Merc Chudge this game versus a Lucidity Boots, which is what I usually recommend, just because they have TF and Rise and Nico, and that's a lot of CC that I... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like I manifested her. Oh my lord. Okay, well, it, the Merc Chudge can't come faster. Oh, wait. I thought I bought the wrong boots, and then it didn't let me for some reason get the right ones. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I mean, look at my bot lane, though. Oh, hey. I believe in you. Ooh, Viego. What is this? Okay, well, I guess I have a new fear now this game. I have to count the minions because of whatever just happened right there. That was my Irelia. Oh, poor Irelia. She has like no CC other than what she has to use to engage in order to stop that. Yeah, look, my comment's already done like 500 damage too. Not bad. Is he gonna try to E me? Whenever Ezreal puts his W on me, I just like wait for his E. Oh, nice. If we get him to even nicer. Oh, he's too skinny. Oh, the skinny TF. All right, I would go bot lane, but I don't know where their jungler is. And I don't want to fight Kane right now, so back to mid lane I go. Shut down. Oh, news. He needs my help. I think he flashed his own Hoy's ability. Wait, I'm coming. This could be really good. Hmm, is he on that? Oh, he is. I think I kill him here. Auto attacks, please. I'm an auto attack gamer. Okay, cool. Run my way. When TF ults here, though. Okay, cool. Kind of actually nice to have the Hui this game. Low key, if they don't get a lot of MR this game, I think that like my setup for Hui and Zerat, or our setups for each other, are kind of gonna slap. But I'm just waiting for the Merc Treads, Canic Rookern, um, I don't know, Hex Drinkers, Edge of Night, Banshee's Veil. They, we know they're coming. Ooh, look at that. Nice damage. My truth is my like I mentioned, Rylize is the second item for this build. I do think that this is better than the Q-Max, by the way. Like, you could definitely still Q-Max, 
But it definitely feels a nerf just from they, I think they reduced the damage of it a little bit with the changes and it no longer executes minions. So the wave clear doesn't even feel that much better than uh, an Emacs. Oh crap. Not my bot lane dying there. Let me TP in case they fight in the top river. Oh. My poor Xerath. It's fine. I have more KP than him. I'm carrying. My team can't flame me, statistically. It sucks though how like full AP Seraphine. I feel like it's never been like the best play style for her. Like I've done it before and I, you know, have done it a lot over my time playing this champion. But I always feel like whenever like Seraphine is halfway decent. Oh great. Please no. You see that's the Merc Treads right there. Thank god he didn't have ult. Okay, I need to count the minions. It's not my lucky day. There's not extra min minions in these waves for like, just to give me more gold. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought maybe we'd be able to do something with that darn lizard. I swear, I don't- okay. Tell me in the comments if this is the same for you. I have this like mental debuff that for Twisted Fate's wild cards, for some reason, that ability is one of the hardest abilities in the games for me to dodge. Like my brain just wants to walk into the cards. They're moving literally at like the speed of like a snail. And my mind is just like, Eric, walk into it. It's a buff. Oh. Well, at least no one died. Well, at least that happened. Okay, I'm pretty close to getting my Rai lives. I just need like one more wave. One more wave without dying. Counting the minions. Literally have to remind myself in case this Nico's here. Uh, let's see. Are you going to be me and Hoi though and not give me the minions? Oh, there is an actual an extra minion. Oh my god. Oh, I hope he dies. Or she dies. Oh, please. Pleak. Gag City. That's who you get, Nico. Okay, maybe... I don't know. <laughs> I say it, and then I see the minion there, and I'm like, ooh, what is that? It's fine, it's fine. I needed the gold for my for my Rylize. I wasn't being too greedy. Oh, pain. <laughs> pain for this Rise. I I am so sorry, Rise. I really am. All right, I'm, like, basically full build now. Uh, for the third item, you're going to want to go for Shirelia's. Shirelia's is extremely gold efficient, like I said earlier, and it's just such a strong item. I actually think it is really good on champions other than supports too. So maybe expect some surprising new builds for another champion soon. All right, I would love to group with my team here and just now play for my E picks with my team CC. Um, thankfully, they only have one person that built Merc Tread so far, so that's great. Because now my E is just going to root and then stun them, including that dumb lizard. My number one fan, KD8, literally KD8 fan Nico. TFT wear. I'm going to drop a pink in here. And I'm going to go help my Diego. Oh, Diego. Your whole jungle got taken. Never wait down. The longer this game goes... Oh my god, not again. Please, Nico, can you stop? This is like the fourth time. Killer, 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 killer. That's the real one. That's what you get, Nico. Do try me again. Try Seraphine again. The queen. Oh, I think he... Yeah. Thank God, if I didn't go Merc Treads this game, you just know I would have died right there. Hmm, Hoi wants me to go bot lane. I really don't want to be sharing EXP with my, my bot lane right here. The thing is, I'm playing Seraphine, and that's kind of like the whole point of my champion. Oh my goodness. I swear this... Oh wait, he walked back in. Oh, he's dead. Get rooted. The Rylize. Oh wait, now we have a cane. I love it. I love it, 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 I love it. 
Oh, I got the root. Oh, he's maybe dead. Oh, he's dead. That's like, that can't be fun to play against. <laughs> Did you see all those skill shots right there? They're having to play like bullet hell games. I, Raptors, please. Raptors, I'm sorry. I meant no harm. Oh my god, Nico, I do mean harm to you though, you dumb lizard. Now leave me alone. Leave me alone! <laughs> she has a vendetta against me, and the thing is, I have a vendetta against her too. I don't even think that's worth for her, that's the thing. Like, it really isn't worth for her. Now she doesn't have her flash, or ignite. So now for five minutes, she can't get it like an amazing ult on us. Like she would be able to with the flash. And what are they getting for that kill? Did she even get a shutdown? She got nothing, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say worth. You see, this is my next tip. Bait the enemy Nico supports into wasting all their summoner spells on you for no reason. That's a really great tip for this video. All right, I got TP here. Yeah, I'm gonna TP Yeah. I'm helping, there we go. Oh my god, that this lizard, this is like a horror game. Oh, are they doing that? Ain't no way. Ain't no way they're actually doing that. No, they're not. He's invading though, for sure. Hello, Kane. He might be dead here, I hope so. But that is Kane we're talking about. The fastest champion in League of Legends. Oh, but let's see how many skill shots he can dodge. Oh, I'm coming, team. I'm coming. But why am I so slow? Oh, that was a really good try. Yeah, just let me group here. Oh, he might be dead. He should be dead. Oh my god, he's dead. That's like, this is actually hilarious. I love this. That was meant for like Kane or something if he was there, which he was close. How much more do I need for Shirelia's? Like literally one more minion. That's why I'm saying this item is just too good. Like, it's too gold efficient. And the triple tonic lets you max your abilities one level quicker too, which for Seraphine is actually a really big deal. Like, levels on this champion and ability points make a huge difference. So, definitely go triple tonic. Oh, that was nice. I think I hadn't recalled since I got the Herald with uh, my Viego, so I got a, a powered recall. Okay, so now I also have... Speed boost for the entire team. Oh, hey, Nico. Good try. Good try, good try. If, I, if we land like anything on this guy, he's just dead. But that's a challenge on Ezreal. Okay, this is like literally where Seraphine shines though. Okay, he's already rooted, he's dead. I don't even care if I use my ult for one person, it's worth it. Yeah, Seraphine is just always one of the best sieging champions in the game. It's like not even fair. Oh my god, and considering- oh my god, it's her. This is why I built these items to kill that champion. That stupid lizard. Oh crap. Please no. No please. No, please. Oh, no. No, please, too. Okay, got the stun. I guessed which direction he was going to come out of. Oh, god. Ah, uh, dang it. Not like this. Okay, so for my next... Oh, oh, no. 
Are they going to try to do Baron here? I don't think they can. They might try. No, I don't think they're trying to do Baron. Oh, they are. Okay, I have TP when I'm up in a while. I I'm probably going to just go for a Banshee's Veil now, honestly, for that Nico. I, I think every single one of my deaths have just been because of Nico ults. So if I get Banshee's Veil on top of the Merc Treads, good luck. Good luck to them. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Attack the Baron. We could steal it. That's what I was saying. Like, I do not think that they could do that. I'm coming. I'm coming to help you, Huayathin. Where is that, Nico? Oh, she's... He's in a better place now. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Literally my heart right there. So right now I have 18 out of 27 kill participation, which is pretty good, if you ask me. And I'm pretty close to being able to get the spell shield too, the Verdant Barrier. Okay. I mean, thanks for the least as real, I guess. Where's Nico, though? It's always the question on my mind. Okay, nice. It's funny, because I actually thought that the, the Hui and the Zerath were going to make this team comp, like, horrible. And I think it should have, but for some reason, the enemy team is not building magic resistance, so hooray. Or, well, as the magic resistance items that they should be. Ezreal has a maw, but, like, Ezreal, what are you going to do? Literally checking if Nico's here. Give me that kill. I need to pad the KD for the thumbnail. Okay, Nico's gonna probably be one of the minions. I am not even joking. Like, I am gonna be eating anything that comes my way. Oh, including you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here, wait, take a heal. Yeah, and you know what, late game, when your W's like maxed, you're just a shield bot too. <laughs> so you're like old Seraphine and new Seraphine. It's amazing. Oh, I got the root. All these skill shots. Oh, got the thing. Enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> he can't do anything. Oh no, please. Blizz. It's fine, I have this. And I have some notes. Thank you again. And I think we might just be able to win the game here now. Okay, and that, guys, is the Seraphine build that I think really, like, maybe someone's going to be like, Eric, you actually got carried this game, but you're going to notice when you do the Seraphine build, you just are winning all of your games. Even if it looks like you're getting carried, you're doing so much with your utility, it's, um, it's crazy. So make sure that you uh, try this out yourself. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, let me know maybe if you've tried it in other roles, what you think about it there, and... Let me show you the damage graph before I uh, go off this video. Well, I did more than my Aurelia. And honestly, my whole role here was CC anyways. I did more than most people on their team. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys um, watch them. And join my stream too at 10. I've moved my stream time, guys, to 10 a.m. Eastern time. So an hour earlier. So make sure you click the link down below and say hi to me live. I love getting to meet you guys. Okay, bye guys.